Hello everybody, this is David here with another Verilog video on the Basis 3 FPGA. Uh, this time I'm going to create a state machine that is a traffic controller. And I'm going to use two P mods on the Basis 3 to drive two sets of lights that are going to represent, um, like this will be, this is Main Street, Main Street lights and this is the Cross Street lights. So I have a, a red, yellow, and green for each set. And I'll take you to the code. All right, here we are in Vivado by Xilinx. And I've created a project for the Basis 3 for the traffic controller. You can see the modules over here. We have the top module is the traffic controller. It instantiates a state machine, a one hertz generator, and a switch debouncer, which is actually going to be used for a button, but it's the same code, so it'll work. And here's the constraints file. So I'll take you through each module. Here is the, it's actually the button debounce. I didn't change the name, but that's the way the signals are named. So we have the clock, button in, button out some temporary registers so at every clock the button and signal has to ripple through these registers and then the last register is what's driving the button out signal here here's the one hertz generator it'll take in the 100 megahertz from the basis 3 the button for the reset and output a one hertz signal Here's a, uh, the register we use to toggle um, 26 bits for the counter reg because we have to cover have enough bits to cover this value here, which is essentially 50 mega. And so here's the logic always at the clock 100 megahertz or positive reset. If it's reset, the counter reg will go to zero. <coughs> Else, and it's easier if you start down here in the else so the counter reg is going to keep incrementing every clock um, and then once the counter reg gets to this value of 49,999,999 so it's going to reset the reg and then it's going to toggle the output reg and that's going to create a one hertz signal we're going to tie that register into the output right here now <clears throat> here's the state machine it has a reset it's going to take in the one megahertz clock simply because we're going to have a second we're going to use a second for cycling through the lights so um here's the three bits that is the main street lights so the most significant bit is red the least is um, the green light and the middle bit is the yellow light same thing for cross street here here's our parameters for the state machine this is main street is green and cross street is red so we're using two bits we have four states um, the next one is you know main goes yellow then main goes red and then cross goes green and then cross goes yellow main is still red and then we go right back to main green here's the state register to keep track of the states um, here's a counter we're using a five bit counter to control the whole process of switching through the different lights the different states and so here's your timing right here for how long each one stays the yellow lights are each three seconds and then here's the next state logic so if if we're reset we're going to go back to state zero which is the default state of main green and cross street red um, and the otherwise at the pause edge clock in the case of the state reg um, we'll be in this initial state here and then if light counter the counter is going to be controlled down here so as soon as the system comes on it's just going to continue counting and so if we're in this state and light counter equals 15 then we'll change to the next state which is main yellow cross red and if we're in that state you know three seconds later we switch to the next state this is a yellow light here 
and then the, the people driving on the cross street get to go they got the green light they get that for 10 seconds and then for three seconds they get a yellow and then we go back into main green cross red and here's a put a default state down here for that um, here's the light control it's just a counter it just continues counting if it's reset it goes to zero otherwise at the clock one hertz it'll continue counting um, once it gets to 31 then the next will take it back to zero which which I think would happen anyway it'll wrap around but just in case I put that there and then here is the always block to control the lights the registers for that so that's going to be based on the state register so whatever the state is then the lights will represent that so like i said each bit this is um red yellow green so we have a red for cross street green for main street main street goes yellow green street or cross street goes green then it goes yellow and then we go back so here's the traffic controller very simple this is our interface to the actual outside world and the fpga the reset button the the clock signal from the basis three and then our lights on the breadboard are going to be controlled through p mods on these outputs here we're just instantiating those three modules and creating a couple wires to tie them all together here's the constraints file we need the clock signal um, one of the buttons i'm using button c and then three pins from the p mod jb and three pins from P mod JC and I will I've already done the synthesis implementation and generated the bitstream as you can see up here it says write bitstream complete so now I'm going to open the hardware manager I'm going to turn on the board it's already plugged in open the target auto connect once it connects i'll program it and then i'll show it i'll show you it working there's a little window up here i don't think you can see it but it says connecting the server but you can see this information popping populating over here under the hardware now i'm ready click program device program it's programmed and then i'll take you over to the camera okay so here you can see the basis three you can see the lights it's in main is in green cross street is in red now main just went to yellow for three seconds and now cross street is green main street is red this will this will go on for about 10 seconds well actually 10 seconds and then we'll see cross street goes to yellow and then we go back to the original state and this will just continue going through and through i mean there's a lot you can do for a traffic controller you can add you know all the the walk don't walk turn lanes um different modes for different um times of the day such as you know more traffic you can have a timer mode and then during late hours where there's not much traffic you can have a sensor mode um, you can also implement a, a switch an emergency switch so if there's a um an accident at the intersection then the police officers can access this panel and turn it to emergency where it turns all the the red lights blinking and then they can have a traffic control officer in the intersection actually directing traffic instead of the lights maybe i'll do that as another project i'll do a souped up traffic controller state machine and we'll implement it but um that's it for this one thanks for watching